So this video is all about figure of eight bandages. So those are your knee and hock bandages. And you use those when you have to hold a dressing or ice pack in place over a knee or a hock. And they're really important to practice and get right because you've got lots of little structures inside the knee and the hock that you don't want to put pressure on. So for your knee or hock bandage, the same as for your stable bandage, you need a bit of gamji and you need a stable bandage. So one of those fleecy ones. And ideally you want your gamji sort of a square or fairly big because it's got to go all the way around the knee or all the way around the hock. And so when you start, again, you wrap it round so the bottom comes forward, top comes to the back. And you don't want to do it too tight, just enough that it covers and wraps around. You still want the horse to be able to move its knee. And then with the bandage, again, roll towards the back. You start quite high and you want to, or the forearm above the knee, and you want to wrap it round twice, fairly firmly, because this will stop the bandage slipping down. And then go around again. And then you want to come across in a figure of eight, right round underneath the knee. Now the reason you go underneath the knee is because you've got a little bone sticking out of the back called the pisiform bone. And if you put pressure on that, it pushes into the knee. And also if you bandage over the knee, your horse can't move its leg. So go round the bottom and then come round the top again, putting a little bit more pressure on. And then judging on how much bandage you've got, you can go down and up again, but I don't think I have enough. So I'm just gonna go round the top once more and finish off, okay? And then, so you've got figure of eight across the front and I should be fairly tight at the top, so it's not gonna slip. And then to check that it's right, you wanna see if you can just pick their foot up. Come on, come on, concentrate. How about that? And they can bend their knee, so you're all good. Then when you come to the hock bandage, again, it's a back leg, so you wanna move the tail out the way. Otherwise it's gonna end up getting in the way and being bandaged. Like that. So you wanna wrap your gamji around the leg that try and have the same amount above and below the hock and then with your bandage just want to wrap round back try and you want to start above the hock you don't really want to be anywhere near it when you start and you want to keep it fairly firm and again the same as the knee bandage you want to go around twice at the top just to keep it secure and then you want to go all the way down, try and tuck it in so it fits a bit better around the hock. And then you want to come down to the bottom, round once, and then come back up again. So you want to be avoiding the point of hock, because you've got all the tarsal bones in there, the same as in the knee. So the little bones that you really don't want to put pressure on, and you also want to make sure your horse can still move their leg. So then round at the top. If you had more bandage, you maybe could go down and up again, but I don't and then finish it off like that. And again, so you see how it's stuck out a little bit there, then I know there's enough room for the horse to bend their hock. And you wanna have it firm, but not so tight, so that bit keeps up at the bottom. It doesn't need to be tight, that's literally just keeping the bandage in. Hope you guys found that useful. If you're practicing a figure of eight bandages, I'd love you to send us any pictures or videos of what you get up to. And um, if you've got any suggestions for videos, send us a message. And make sure you check us out on Instagram where we're at The Pony Podcast and Facebook for The Pony Podcast and check out our episodes of the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hey, good pony care for me.